Thai opposition figure Peter Lim Juran Rat is awaiting a decision that could determine his future in politics. The Constitutional Court will hand down its ruling tomorrow over his alleged illegal possession of media company shares. CNA's Saksith Sayasomba explains the case and its possible consequences. It could be yet another junction point for Thailand's opposition move for a party and its former leader Peter Lim Rat as he awaits for the verdict of the Constitutional Court to rule over his political future. The court will decide whether or not Mr. Peter has violated a ban on politicians holding shares in a media company. The case was brought against him by the election commission shortly after his opposition move forward party surprisingly won the most seats and when he was in the middle of forming a government coalition. The media company in question, ITV, was a broadcaster that went off the air in 2007 and its legal remains have been practically dormant ever since, so no media activity to speak of. Mr. Peter inherited these shares from his late father and while he insists that he has done nothing wrong, he has transferred those shares away. But the court accepted the case in the middle of Parliament's vote for a Prime Minister in July, suspending Mr. Peter as an MP. That marked the beginning of the end of his bid to lead the next government, as his opponents use it as one of many pretexts to block him from seeking the premiership. And because of the ongoing legal limbo since then, he also stepped down as party leader shortly after that as well. Despite all these setbacks, Mr. Peter remained optimistic at his last court hearing back in December. <laughs> If found guilty, he could not only lose his MP seat but also be banned from politics for 10 years. He would then share the same fate as his predecessor, Tanaton Tengreung over four years ago on practically the same charges. But back then, just as much as now, critics say that these legal challenges are attempts to stifle the progressive reformist agenda of this political movement that has emerged as a strong competition against the political establishment. And regardless of the outcome this week, there's already another verdict scheduled at the Constitutional Court next week against Mr. Peter and the entire move forward party. In that case, it's about whether or not the party's campaign promise to amend the Les Majestés law, so the law that punishes insults and criticism against the monarchy with jail time, whether those calls are tantamount to overthrowing the monarchy. And it goes to show that even if Mr. Peter gets acquitted this week, the legal challenges against him and the entire Move Forward party continue.